Hey there. You know, uh, I, I talk to a lot of folks on the phone and via email, even on my website and comments about membership sites and membership plugins. And one of the questions that comes up regularly is this idea of needing to pause a membership. You know, that if you've, if you've ever had a gym membership or anything else where you're paying monthly and then something comes up and you know you're not going to be able to use your membership for three months. And so you contact the company and say, I need to put this membership on pause. I just need to put it on hold for just a little bit, and then I'll circle back up to it. And, and sometimes they will uh, prorate that down. They'll, instead of paying $50 a month, you might pay $5 a month to keep it on hold. Or sometimes they have rules about how long you can do that. Or sometimes they'll just downgrade you to a different kind of account um, with a different rate and then upgrade you back later. But that kind of work in the WordPress world has been historically really difficult. The kind of code that it takes to figure all that out and to figure out how you do prorations. I mean, just think about prorations for just a second, right? You have to say, well, I got to take whatever you're paying monthly that I'm going to turn it into what's the daily rate for that. And every month has a different number of days. And then you calculate that. And then how many days have passed? And then so what's left and what has been credited? So that when I go up to the next level, I can take that credit, apply it to the new amount, prorate that amount for only a certain number of days till the end of the month before I spin up the new account cycle. Wow, that's just a lot of work. And then you get into Regardless of whether or not you and I can both do the math on that, whether or not we can create the formulas for that, the reality is payment gateways don't all support it. And they don't support necessarily doing these things, which means you have to write the code to manage it outside of the gateway and then send the gateway whatever specifics you need to in order for them to fulfill the goal of what you're trying to build in terms of that feature. I know because I wrote a very, very long post articulating all the nuances of how prorating and pausing and membership pausing and upgrading would have to, what they would have to do to make this a viable feature for people. Most of the people that uh, read the post, and I sent it to a handful of the plugin developers, most of the people that read it just, they wrote lots of reasons why A, it was hard, but B, it was even harder to explain. How do you sell that as a feature, right? What are you going to do? Pausing memberships? And they're like, I don't know what that is. Or prorating? It could mean so much or not enough. And so at the end of the day, most people just bowed out and said, not going to touch it. And to now I've said, well, hey, there's some folks who do prorations, iThemes, for example, in their uh, you know exchange with membership does some prorations and MemberPress does uh, prorations and even pausing. And so those two had been kind of the, two of the players that I'd talk about and say, hey, they do it. But there is another player that does it. And uh, and I've dug into it recently, and I just wanted to tell you that this is really good news, um, because if you use WooCommerce, and you're excited about all the things WooCommerce can do, and you've gone and looked at the subscriptions extension, that subscriptions extension now supports prorations and the kind of pausing, the kind of work that allows you to prorate or, or change up things, downgrade an account, upgrade an account, and it's, I mean, again, like I said, it is not simple stuff. They put in the hard work and the latest version of the subscriptions plugin does everything you want it to do. So if you've been thinking about an e-commerce site that also has membership components to it and you're shipping physical product and you have complicated shipping such that you're looking at WooCommerce and saying WooCommerce and membership combined is the best approach then by all means, you want to look at the subscriptions plugin and say, I want this extension and say, I want to use this with WooCommerce to make this kind of stuff happen. Because what used to be impossible is now possible. And that's good news for you. It's good news for me. It's good news for everybody out there that's trying to build this stuff and still not have to pay tens of thousands of dollars for people to hand custom code a solution like that. Now it's in a plugin that you can use, an extension that you can use with the WooCommerce plugin. So good luck.